Support for a third party has reached an all-time high. That's according to a new Gallup poll. Let's throw this up on the screen. This is really interesting. You can see the spike in the chart there right at the end. Now, 62% of U.S. adults say that the parties do such a poor job representing the American people that a third party is needed. That's opposed to 33% who believe the two major political parties are doing an adequate job. Um, what that means, Sagar, is that 33% of Americans are completely wrong and 62% <laughs> are accurate in their views. But you can see, I mean, basically in January, this yeah. huge shift huge spike. starts yeah. to occur. And all of the movement, if you dig into the crosstabs here, comes among Republicans. Right. And the other interesting part is not just support for a third party needed, but also the dissatisfaction number. Yeah. So the dissatisfaction faction number saying that parties do an adequate job went from 40 percent to 33. So that 33 basically saying only one third say that the parties are doing an adequate job of representing them along with the support for the third party is really interesting. And I've said here uh, the biggest problem that people are going to have here whenever it comes to third party is that the way the Republican Party at least currently is constituted is that it's about 40 percent of the U.S. population at its best. And I really mean at its best. That is something which is capable of winning elections in deep red country, places like Georgia, or sorry, some counties in Georgia, mm -hmm. some counties in Arizona, but not Georgia on the statewide level, Arizona on the statewide level. Same thing even in places like Missouri and elsewhere, where it might be deep red in certain parts, but urbanizing populations and more could actually significantly change everything. And I think that the party is going to have to grapple with, when they're only 40 percent of the U.S. population, which is disproportionately rural, disproportionately downwardly mobile, that's not concentrated in the growing population centers, then you have a problem when it comes to electoral college and obviously popular vote. So you might be able to maintain, you know, not even a majority, but a slight edge of a minority in the Senate as well as within the House of Representatives. But you're going to have a bigger problem writ large. And at the same time, the Dems have their own irreconcilable differences, which is like now you have these like millions of former Republicans who voted for Biden and have expectations to him very contra to a normal Democratic base or even the young people. So that's where I see if there was going to be a third party, it's going to be Republicans disaffected by Trump. And that is maybe 15 percent of the U.S. population. Well, the interesting thing is, so um, like I said, the whole the entirety of the spike in support for the third party came from Republicans. Right. So before January 6th, 40 percent of Republicans said we need a new political party mm -hmm. after 63 percent said it. That's but when lot, you ask right. Republicans what's the problem with the Republican Party, many more of them say the party is not far right enough. Yeah, there you go. They want a Trump so, party, right? Right. Yeah. So that's why, you know, we covered here, there's this idea of creating like a sort of no labels -y Lincoln Project -y centrist <laughs> Socially liberal Project and anymore. economic yeah. conservative. Yeah, yes. we're going to get to the Lincoln Project. We, we covered that earlier this week. Anyway, um, there's, there's you know, this movement in the works to have Evan McMullen and all these people mm -hmm. form a third party effort. And no one, basically no one wants that. Yeah. I mean, you're already, if that's where you are, you probably have a home pretty effectively within the Democratic Party. I think you're right. Um, yeah. And so when you talk about third party, People mean different things than what, you know, the sort of centrist beltway media coalition would have you think that they mean. So some of these people who are in the Republican Party now support a third party, they're thinking like the Republicans didn't do enough to back Trump. They haven't been loyal enough to Trump, especially right. when you saw in the wake of the rights. Initially, there was a backlash from a lot of Republican officials, Mitch McConnell out there criticizing him, et cetera. A lot of these people, that's actually the problem they have with the Republican Party. Yeah, it makes sense. And that's why when you saw majority of Republicans say they would follow Trump if he decided to start a Trump party or the Free Patriot Party or whatever, it didn't surprise me in the slightest. So people really hate the current infrastructure. Will that manifest in a constructive way where we build really cool new institutions? Probably not. But uh, people are really pissed off. So at least there's something. Yeah, it's just another sign of how angry, dissatisfied and frustrated people are and feel like they have no options. There you go. All right, more rising for you after this.